right now we can see for for example for this city block far right now is 1.56 uh, so meaning that if we we are allowed to build uh, up to three we are actually now missing some of the possible far so what i'll do is i will try to get to the maximum extent of far by right now just to make it quick just by changing the heights of these buildings because now i'm at 2.53 um if i go and make them one story higher let's see what happens uh nine ten now i'm just exceeding it just a bit so right now i'm i'm where i shouldn't be because this is not allowed so what i can do is right now i will just make these two buildings a bit smaller so i i'll try with five uh 90 now we are at the edge so yeah we could we could go and try to to really maximize it to get to the to the closest where it can be so something like that it's really maybe there is a square meter or two meters that are that are still left to to get there but in terms of the gross floor area and allowed floor area ratio we are now at the limit okay now what i can still do is if i don't like the shapes of these buildings what i'll do is i will just go here and switch keep built area scaling when scaling buildings manually because what this will do is when i'll scale the building in one direction modeler will automatically adjust it in another so that it will keep its area and effectively it will keep also the floor area ratio right so now, whenever I scale the building, something like that, maybe it can be a bit narrower or even for the residential uh, buildings, usually we know what are the desired depths. And right now it's 14 met meters, which is, which is uh, yeah, almost perfect. Uh, so, and I'll, I'll also make this one like 14 meters, just start scaling it and I'll type in 14 M, press enter and we have two buildings that are now 14 meters wide. Um, so they are appropriate for to, to become a kind of residential building. I will just uh, align them to, to this, uh, something like that. Yeah, okay. And let's say, okay, it's not the best design right now, but still showing, I'm, I'm trying to show you the capabilities and the uh, the power of having these real-time data calculations available here at all times. Okay, now uh, another way of seeing the data, and then you have the option to check the data for the for the plot area. Now, what this one shows is basically your complete model. Right now, we have uh, we have only one city block. So maybe what I'll do is in this case because now. Erne? We yep. have a question here, yeah, but I think we'll answer it. Uh, just to clarify, this calculate the far of all buildings on the site or the far of an in individual building? So it's far based on all buildings that are on specific city block. I'm just getting into it because right now you can see the whole plot has the same numbers that are coming from the city block. This is because right now we only have one city block uh, defined. So what I'll do is I will go here uh, into the city block. Remember these values because I will just get rid of this city block right now. Um, I'll uh, actually I'll go and explode it. And right now you can see that the whole plot area uh, is is gone. We have the totals of the gross floor area, but the FAR is not calculated anymore. This is because right now we don't have uh, uh, any uh, definition of what is the total area. Uh, so what I'll do is I will just split this one to two areas. Okay, so I'll, I'll make it something like that. And maybe even we actually want to create some uh, connection here. So I'll just remove this one. Oh, what is this? Let me check. Um, okay shouldn't be here so 
uh, because what I want to do now is I want to create two separate city blocks so that it will be clear how it is regarding the um, calculations. So this one is like three, and then for this one, we've set it to 60 meters. So it's okay for this one. Now we can see the FAR of this one actually is exceeded. Right now, the FAR of this city block is 3.44. So meaning that I need to make the building a bit smaller, maybe to let's go eight and hit enter. Maybe nine will be okay. Yeah, it's a bit above. I can go to to type in the numbers to get again to the values that would still be allowed. Now we are close to there, uh, two more iterations and we would have the, the exact number. So, uh, but right now I just want to move on. Uh, and I will also move these two buildings a bit in something like that. So it is still good. And right now what you can see, uh, the FAR of, of this city block is 2.97. Uh, so again, it's close to where it can be. I can maybe scale this one a bit up. Um, ah. Even if I scale it now this way, I still have this one locked, so it doesn't change the actual uh, area. So I'll just turn it off and scale it like that and see. Yeah, now we are exceeding it a bit. So let me go back to something like that. And now we are at FAR 3.0 for, for this city block here, while this one here, yields 2.96. So each city block now gives me the information about about itself. 